So let's start. Um, the first thing I'm going to use to hydrate my skin is the IS Clinical Hydra Cool Serum. And I love this serum because it's really lightweight, but it just like, like you put it on your skin and it's just like, oh, so good. Um, it's so nice. It's hydrating, but it's not, um, it's not too like, um, I don't, I don't want to say sticky. It's just not like, you know, how some moisturizers don't ever rub into your skin. It really sinks in. And I really, really, really like this product. So I prep my skin with that. And then before I do foundation, and I'm going to regret doing this first, but I am going to use the photo finish by Smashbox. So I never really use any products that are more for like a little bit of a more matte look all over and then just highlighted, but I'm going to today. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just using a touch and I'm going to go over my entire face and I am going to do eyes first, but this does, it feels really, really, really good. It's not what I'm used to, but if you have oily skin, large pores, this completely minimizes your pore size for about eight hours. So it's really good if you're doing weddings. I mean, like my skin, honest to God, feels very, very, very silky and I like it. And um, yeah, let's look and see if my pores are gone. That's the test. And actually most of them are. Um, I've used this on brides and I never use it on myself. I'm so stupid. Um, anyway, let's just move on to eyes. So I've already got a little bit of um, concealer on here, so I'm just gonna dab over. So because we're gonna do um, the Candace look from the Met Gala, which I just thought was such a super, super, super fun look, she had a very neutral lid and then a crazy amount of winged eyeliner. So that's what we're gonna do, because it's a little bit fun. So this new Too Faced palette, and what is this? This is called Natural Love. It has the most amazing colors in there. Like I love Too Faced eyeshadows. I've always been a fan. I really like this palette. It's got such an array of color. Um, but I'm going to start with the color Honey Butter. And I'm just going to go over basically my whole entire lid because Candace had kind of like a little bit of a rosy color. Um, very neutral, very subtle but it was very pretty. And this is kind of like that skin tone, but a little bit of like a rosiness to it. And I am using the same a brush in two, 2.4. And I haven't figured out how to say it yet. So if it's something else, you guys please correct me. But I'm just gonna do little tiny circles and I'm not going up all the way to the brow bone, but I am going pretty much underneath it. So just keep doing that until you get the desired look. And then also I want to point out, everybody's eye shapes are different. So the way it looks on Candace is obviously not going to be the way that it looks on me or you. My God, she's a Victoria's Secret model for crying out loud. But we can get a similar view. So she has a very hooded eye. So on her, her brow bone kind of comes down and it's really full at the top. So it kind of just very flicked out and it looked like she had a nice little cut crease um, with the eyeliner, but that's not, that's not how it happened. Um, <laughs> this is far as I know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more right there. Okay, next I'm going to go in with, started off with the black eyeliner. And today I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs uh, liquid. I love this eyeliner. This is just called their blacker. And I'm going to start. And when I tell you guys, like, this look is a very dramatic look. So we're going to go pretty dramatic. And all I'm doing is going from inner corner. So the lips, so right there, we have this right here so far, okay? Now I'm gonna do a little flick. Okay, 
one eye done. Let's go to the next. Now we're going to go in with black eyeshadow. And I'm using Stiletto from the Too Faced palette that I just told you about. And I'm just going to start packing on this black eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take an angle brush. And I'll list all these brushes. These are all by Sigma. Actually, actually, actually they're all by Sigma. Um, but this one is the small angle in E65. And I'm just going to start making that wing a little bit more dramatic and I'm going to come up underneath a little bit as well. Okay, so now I'm taking the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in Stone Fox and I'm just going to line a little bit underneath my eye. And she had some color underneath there. I wanted something a little bit of like a graphite shimmer. And I also wanted to pop that on the inner corners of my eye. And then line the waterline. Okay. Now we're going to go back in. This is, what color is this? This is Abstract by Jouer and it's their cream crayon. And I'm gonna pat this on. So to get her look, everything is very, very, very layered. Okay, so once you finish, you know, perfecting as far as you personally feel is good with the black eyeliner. Um, I'm using a little bit of the Bioderma. I like this stuff. I carry it in my kit. Um, and a little pointy Q-tip. And I'm just going to clean up the underneath part while still leaving a little bit of the smokiness. Um... Then just move on to foundation. And just so you guys know, so the way Candace's eye is shaped, she didn't have to do as thick of an eyeliner to get this look. The shape of my eye, if I don't go that heavy, then, because all you saw on her was black and then a wing, if I don't go that heavy, you're not getting it. So just FYI, do it to your eye shape. It's very dramatic, but I kind of dig it. Um, Next, we're going to wait for mascara and lashes, but we are going to start on skin. So with skin, I found a new foundation, and I know you guys are going to hate me because I really, 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 really love it. I got it first with a sample, but it's incredible. And this is um, the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is shade number three, and this is the Light Wonder Youth Boosting. I love it. I love Charlotte Tilbury so much. I'm obsessed with this foundation. It's so pretty. Um, I also got a sample of her Magic Foundation, and it is just as incredible. So I actually just placed an order with Nordstrom to get some of that. But all I'm doing is I took a damp beauty blender and I'm just working this one in. This one is a little bit more of a lighter coverage, so if you like something a little bit heavier, it's probably not the foundation for you. Um, and also, if you are oily, you're not going to want to use this foundation. Um, but it is going so nicely over the Smashbox. Like, oh my god. It is amazing. Um, anyway, but if those of you that wanted a little bit more coverage, wanted to try her Magic Foundation, ugh, I always do this. I always talk during this part. It's incredible, and you're not going to be disappointed. I got so many of her samples and I ordered the concealer, the magic foundation. I'm obsessed. Um, and actually, there's my concealer. So let's just use some of that because it is such a good concealer. So this is the light, the retoucher, sorry. And I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes. And because it's a sample, um, I ordered some, honest to God, I wasn't joking when I said I love it. So just go up underneath your eyes with the beauty blender. 
I mean, isn't that a pretty concealer? It's not too light, and I got shade number two, and most of the time, I feel like shade two is always very light, so I was kind of hesitant um, whenever I got that shade, but I am pleasantly surprised. And it's such a lightweight concealer. It's, ugh, I'm obsessed, and I cannot believe I'm using all of it right now in a video, because I am addicted, and I'm gonna have to, up that to overnight shipping, <sighs> which I can do. So yeah, I always like putting a little bit in the forehead and on the chin, that way all the light is hitting in the right areas. I know everybody always says, use a brush, use a brush, but honestly, like sometimes your middle finger and your ring finger are the world's best brushes and you don't even need to use them. Um, so then as soon as you get that put in, I'm going to set with my old faithful NARS translucent powder. And this is the Makeup Forever brush. I've used this brush for years. Um, so I am going to powder a little bit more than normal. Oh my God, y'all are going to go crazy. I'm not going to be a dewy, glowy, wet, sloppy mess. But whenever you're applying the powder, you I don't know if you can tell, but I'm stippling so fast because I hate it. My biggest pet peeve is when I see makeup artists like do this. I'm like, you're pulling the product. You're getting brush strokes. Please stop. And it drives me crazy, but I probably drive them crazy on things, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, as soon as you get that on, I'm gonna go to another, this is a new bronzer and I've been obsessing about it. I love it so much. It is the Marc Jacobs and this is, what is it called, Tantric? so beautiful oh my god I love this so so pretty and I'm just gonna go lightly underneath my cheekbones and I'm pretty pale right now so I can't go crazy and then bring it down the sides of my nose um, so now after I after I finish with the bronzer I'm gonna go back in with the Becca and this is Bali Bali Sands so pretty for light skin tones. If you're a light skin girl and you feel like you can't wear bronzer because they're pretty orange, go back over with this one. And I kind of like melt in my skin color with the bronzer color because sometimes whenever like girls are really pale, we'll do a lot of bronzer and then we're like white, brown, white. It doesn't look good. So I like have been using this one, not as a powder, but I go over the bronzer and then I just kind of lightly go over the other areas so light because there is barely any color to this but it is kind of the perfect amount for somebody that's fair skin it is a must have in your makeup kit if you're fair it's gorgeous um now the next product i did a video that i had ordered this and a lot of you were like oh my god tell me how it is and this is the charlotte tilbury gold bar i mean first of all it is adorable but it is little i'm not gonna lie it's like 42 dollars um, it's really pretty. I really like it, but I don't want to say that I love it too much because what I don't want to happen is you guys use it and you're like, it's not worth $42. Um, and it might not be, I'm a huge fan of hers, so I feel like she can do no wrong, but I also found that I think I might know why people don't love it. Everybody that I spoke to said the same thing, like, eh, it's not really that pigmented, um, whatever, but when you apply it with a brush, it's really not that pigmented. So watch, when I take it and apply it with a brush, it's there, but it's very subtle. So I actually like applying it with my finger to give a little bit more of a pop. So you see how that pops in a lot more? And I'll just do it the same so that way we're even, but yeah, a little bit right there. And then popping it so much more just by doing that, and then you guys always know I do the tip of my nose. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the highlight because I always do too much, but that is such a pretty, and it's gold. It's actually a really pretty gold. It is so stunning. I love the color. I love the product, but, um, and I do think it will last a long time. However, if you're somebody that, you know, 
things that it might be too small for $42 than it might be, but realistically, it actually has like kind of the same amount of ounces in it than something else says. It's just a smaller packaging, which I've noticed with Charlotte Tilbury. I thought this was miniature and it's like $46 and it has 1.4 fluid ounces and you know, my Marc Jacobs foundation only has one ounce. It's just a thicker bottle. So you just have to kind of like look at the ounces before you judge because I actually really like it. Ooh, what am I going to use? I was actually going to use that, but I'm not going to use that anymore. I'm going to use, um, this is called Moon Beach and it's Charlotte Tilbury's um, little lip and cheek color. This is not an ad for Charlotte Tilbury, actually. Um, I spent, like, honest to God, like $700 on her products when I was in LA. It was so stupid. But anyway, so just smile and dab it on your cheeks. And this is a really soft color. It's like a peachy, um, peachy pink color with a little bit of, like, a gold tint. And Candace had on something very subtle, so I didn't want to go overboard with the color on my cheeks. And y'all know I do like a rosy color, but... And I'm looking at my eyeliner might be a little bit off, but oh well. I'm gonna do my brows just very lightly. And this is my new favorite brow pencil. It's um, Taupe. Ah, I think I broke it, uh, y'all. Um, oh my God, what happened to it? <gasps> I did, I broke it. Oh, no I didn't. Oh my God, I didn't break it, it's so nice. But it is by Marc Jacobs. And I always like to brush my hair up. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in Linda. And me and my friend Molly were talking about this. And she was like, why is this thing so good? And I was like, I don't know. It is such a good um, brow product that I'm obsessed with it. And this is the color Linda. I have been using Super Cindy, which I love. It's a lot darker. This is a little bit more blonde, but I kind of liked it for this look that we were doing. It kind of just made sense. And then before I do lashes, I'm just going to do some mascara. And this is the Marc Jacobs mascara. And then I'm going to fix my eyeliner because it's going to drive me crazy. We're going to move on to lips. So this is NYX, and this is the color Nude Suede Shoes. So pretty. Great nude color. And I always like to um, powder over my lips. Some people like to do it. I'm old school, and I still love it. And Candace has very full lips, so I am gonna overdraw mine. I'm gonna use um this is NYX as well, and this is color Fortune Cookie Biscuit Chinois. <laughs> Fortune Cookie, yes, is what it is. It's really pretty. I'm just using um, Ardell Little Wispies. And then all I'm doing is I'm finishing up with the Stone Fox and I'm just going right in the inner corners and kind of connecting it just ever so lightly for an extra pop. Okay, and that is it. And then I didn't do my hair like hers. I tried, I just threw it back in a ponytail. But I hope you guys love this look. And just remember, all the products are gonna be linked down below. And if you wanna try a more subtle version of this, cause you like kind of like the new lit, bronze skin, dark eye, um, take out the winged eyeliner and then just keep it more to your eye shape or just go a little bit lower with the wing. And that way you can wear it any night of the week. Okay, so if you just don't wanna be this bold. Okay. Bye guys.